Nether SX2 is one of the most popular Android emulators to play PS2 games. There is a PC version of the emulator which is PC SX2 which was only available for PC but the creator of Nether SX2 has actually been working on releasing PC SX2 on Android platforms. So in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this pre-alpha version of PC SX2 for Android. I'm going to be showing you basically like a quick walkthrough and we're going to be running one or two games. Now keep in mind that this build is still really early on so I don't know how good it is and how many bugs we're going to encounter counter on this so just keep that in mind and with this said let's get started now before we begin don't forget to drop a like subscribe to my channel it really helps me grow so i can keep on bringing content for you guys like this navigate to the browser of your choice in my case i'm using opera gx and you're going to navigate to the pcsx2 arm64 release page on github the link will be down in the description right here you're going to scroll down until you find the releases and you're going to see a pre-alpha build here you're going to see a little description about what's being released in this version and in the asset section you're going to see a debug or a release version i'm going to download the release version and then i'm going to install this app we're going to open it and as you can see it's loading the ps2 intro a little laggy so it seems they might not be controller support yet so i'm going to select use any time zone for this standard winter time I'm just going to leave this as is then we need to select the clock adjustment i'm just going to be leaving everything as is and then let me get to my files and i'm going to see if we're going to be able to open up a game so i'm going to navigate to my roms folder and here i'm going to find the ps2 games and let's open corn seems that it's opening up the game seems that there's a few different textures here but things don't seem to be working accurately and so far it only seems that we only have touch controls again this is a pre-release version but so far the game seems to be loading you can see the fps at the top the speed let's see if we can skip all these cutscenes so we can just go straight into the actual gameplay this seems to be working the game seems to be loading we have to walk this way doesn't seem that we're able to add any widescreen hacks or anything like that as of now we do have a button here that says save and that seems to save the state if you need to load the previous state by pressing the load button it will send you back to the previous state but it doesn't seem that you can have multiple save states like we do on nether sx2 let's open a different game because this game is a little bit harder to play like this so i go into file again you can see my ps2 games right here this time i'm actually going to be opening obscure and it seems that the emulator just automatically switches right away rather than having to close the game and what not so pretty interesting let's start a new game let's see if we can skip all this and let's see if we can jump right into the gameplay there we go okay this actually looks pretty smooth but the reflections on the floor all right so this game's running pretty decent so far we can see that this game is working it's loading just fine it's been staying pretty consistent basically 60 fps more than anything cutscenes seem to be playing well we just don't seem to be able to have the widescreen patches yet and as well as overlays and whatnot but so far we're able to load everything play everything obviously all the controls are on the screen which in the retro pocket 5 on the ayn Odin, we can probably map them with a the key adapter but i'm just gonna wait for a different release of this emulator where hopefully we have controller support and the overlays gone and whatnot because definitely makes it harder to play the game this way so far from what i've seen the emulator is working so far no bugs but i definitely still think that nether sx2 is still better than this let's load one more game let's load silent hill 3 and let's see how it performs from here this one is the one that i've been playing on nether sx2 and i just want to see how the game is going to perform on here we can see the silent hill currently is running around 30 fps which is very interesting because it's not running at 60 let's see if the saves are compatible i do have a save for nether sx2 on here it seems that might not be compatible maybe i need to copy the save and put it in here to continue from there so i'm just going to start a new game on here i'm going to leave everything at easy let's load up the game so far it seems that the emulator is struggling a little bit there it seems to be picking up here and there i'm going to be skipping all the movies we just want to go straight into the gameplay see how the game is going to perform here we are and the game is running pretty decent it is not running the best i feel that the performance on nether sx2 for this game is a lot better at least not running higher than 30 fps as we're walking in here there's a lot of stuttering as you can see right here the emulator seems to be struggling with this game possibly due to the size of the game or it could be because the graphics suck too much for this i am not sure so the fact that we still have to use the touch controls still not ideal 
and again is a pre-release version so you can't complain about that because you are being warned basically that this emulator is not really ready for release but here you can see how these games are running on here but i think that this kind of showcases the emulator i think this is a good way to see the state of the emulator and can see the performance for at least three different games and it seems that because selling hills are more demanding games so i think that all the games that are similar in the sense that are big games like selling hill 3 they may be struggling with this emulator but overall this seems really promising and i'm looking forward to see what the developer comes up with this emulator that is all for this video thank you guys for watching don't forget to drop a like subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys next time Oh